2265 pounds, an A-Liner Expedition, which is one of the bigger models with a bathroom, and twin pop-up double dormers here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan, just coming in. This was Florida owned, has not experienced Midwestern winters and road salts and all that kind of stuff. And actually, I like the story behind this one. These folks came to us from Florida on a referral from a family member who had also made the trek up here to southern Michigan from Florida to work with Halet RV. That's got to say something about our folks around here. So getting started in here, this has the, uh, the folding style bathroom like you see in a lot of uh, high wall, uh, mostly tent campers. You don't tend to see a lot of bathrooms in A-frames like this. Um, very rarely were they ever really used, and in point of fact, the folks that own this camper never used the bathroom. They ran water through it to make sure it worked, but this cassette-style toilet has never been, uh, we'll say, utilized by humanity. <laughs> so as we start looking around here, you can see that the double dormer on this thing just gives it a huge, massive, expansive look and feel. And the big windows that you see here certainly don't hurt either. Now up front we've got this wall-to-wall uh, -wall dinette, which is nice that you can sit for adults here comfortably, but as you uh, can kind of see here, that'll fold down into an extra little sleeping space uh, to give you that ability to have like, it's good for like buddy hunting camping or like if you have a grandkid or a friend with you uh, on a quick trip. Now, one neat thing on these soft side dormers, kind of like a hybrid camper, is that these things can open up. You can unzip those panels and get just awesome airflow in here. And on that note, I want to take a minute to point out the 12 volt powered Max Air vent fan up top to give this thing, um, especially when you're boondocking and just on battery power, that extra breeze where you want and need it. Now, uh, over here in the uh, kitchen area, you can see how you've got a pretty respectable amount of counter space. And the biggest uh, reason for that is that both the sink and the stove fold down with those tempered glass covers to give you max prep space when you need it. And again, if you're not going to use the bathroom, it's not exactly uh, a really far stretch to kind of see a pretty much horizontal flat space like that and say, yeah, it's kind of, you know, like a uh, uh, countertop-ish area. Down below here, you can see the microwave, because these things, I've always said A-frames, are kind of mutants. They're sort of like a fold down travel trailer as much as a pop up camper you know now you've got this little countertop extension leaf right here and that right there can fold down um during the day you're probably going to want it out because it gives you the perfect little place to set drinks next to that sofa but at night this is like an old traditional slide open gaucho style uh sofa where it's daytime seating but nighttime sleeping space so that would be now if you don't care about that if you don't want to convert it leave it slid open all the way and leave it in bed format and you could put a normal mattress down there uh, and have a little more comfortable arrangement more like the Rockwood A-frames that we'd have here at Halet RV today. Now again this is a double dormer model so you do have the pop-up ends on front and rear and what's kind of cool these little uh, um, poles right here you can easily use those for like extra hanging storage on one side or the other if need be little solutions like that are pretty common in pop-ups there's a bunch of little hidden detail things on these a-liners you really got to kind of see them in person I can't go you know fully over it but like little stuff like this like you bump this and you're like oh what a piece of junk and then you realize wait a minute those are bracketed it's like intentional pop top stuff for access panels to be able to get to things or for uh, potential extra use of storage it's uh an art rv nerdism number 37 not an ounce of space gone to waste having been stored uh under a cover during its lifetime and protected away from that um, aggressive at times. Florida sun has certainly not hurt this RV. The skin still gleams. The decals show no signs of fade or peel or anything like that. Everything on here looks pretty good. Those double, oh, man, that front dormer especially makes this thing look huge up front. So, um, under uh, the uh, the door side bench right here, you can see that we've got a, a pretty decent compartment area right there. So they didn't really waste any potential storage space. Now, a couple of things I want to point out. One is Asdell under the skin. Asdell was uh, kind of brought to the mainstream of our pre RV production in Coachman's uh, Apex and Freedom Express ultralight models that we carry here at Halet RV. And it has since found its way into uh, you know other areas. But the idea behind it is that it's lighter weight, um, it, uh, the material itself cannot rot, mold, mildew. Um, has a lot of other tertiary benefits, but those are going to be your main things right there. Uh, so that you can see this has the double step because this does have 
uh, what they call their off-road package. But if you go over there and you read the sticker, you can't just say, oh, it's got the off-road package. You have to read it. It's I think it's actually a legal requirement that you have to read it in the voice of Randy Savage, the macho man. You have to say, this camper here's got an off-road package, brother. Oh, yeah. There's, it's, I don't know why, I don't know what that is, but apparently there's laws regarding it. Moving on, regardless. Um, front and rear diamond plate, full diamond plate, really kind of, especially while towing, it makes this thing about impervious to any sort of rocks or anything being flung at it. Because, like, all your windows are protected when it's folded down. Any stones that are reasonably going to come in contact with it from towing are going to probably hit the front panel. And just for the sake of completeness, if that's a word, they put a uh, the same thing on the back as well. Um, the four-corner stabilizer jacks keep this thing kind of in place uh, at your destination, which is handy. Dagnabbit, bump the power button. Sorry about that. Anyway, outside utility shower with hot and cold uh, water options right there. And the, let's take a look at the tires. Because I know the body's been protected under cover. I didn't look at the tires. It looks like, yeah, there's no dry rotting. There's no sun or weather damage or anything on here. Tires look good. Everything on here looks good. Um, back here, we do have cable hookups as well. <laughs> Off-road adventure ready, brother. Oh, yeah. Anyway. Uh, the water heater, you can see, has that little mud dauber screen on it to keep the bugs from getting in there and causing some kind of, like, uh, jam up or lack of airflow or potential flame out. Uh, rarely is that ever going to cause a catastrophic situation if anything happens due to bugs crawling up in there. Usually it just disables the water heater until you can clean it out. Uh, I do like also that they kept the spare tire covered so that that thing wasn't going to uh, get rotted out from sun exposure or anything like that. There is a handy little uh, rail on the side here if you want to get one of those little side mount grills or a little side shelf utility tables. You can do all that. She is small. She is light. It's narrow body. So it's not really wider than your vehicle. And being a fold down style camper, which is not as obvious right now, um, when you're in transit, everything is really pretty much down below the uh, level of your rear view mirror. So it is easy to see. And this does have a simple side mount solar prep plug. So if you do want to get one of those portable panels and use it for boondocking, keep your lights and your fans running, she's all set. And a double propane tank just kind of makes the, uh, you know, using the, the stove tap and stuff a little more reliable on the road. So you never, like, if you run out of uh, gas in one tank, you swap it and you never really lose service. So whether you need hitching, pieces, parts, trades, financing, truck and trailer package deals, RV delivery, and... Everything in between. We do it all here at Halet RV. And obviously, if this isn't the one for you, we just have a whole slew of these things. If you're looking for a hard side A-frame, like there's another used one that we happen to have on hand from Rockwood. That's one that we actually sold brand new. And once again, folks came back to us when it was time to update. So we've got to be doing something right from a customer service standpoint. And real quick, I want to point out, Mean Gene, the selling machine over here, trying real hard. Look at him trying to hide his face real fast. Anyway, I don't think he's wanting... You're not wanted by the FBI, are you, Gene? He's pleading the fifth. Never mind. Okay. I'll have to uh, edit that footage. Moving on. Uh, actually, no, I think we're done. <laughs> I'm rambling. Take care. Stay safe. Have fun. And happy camping, everyone.